Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. Let's take a look. Let's see what is it that is manifesting for you all. Any messages, advice, surprises, who or what is showing up around you. Whenever you see this will be the right time. And as always, take what's resonating and leave out the rest. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if it feels good. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. If you are interested in a, uh, in a personal reading done by me, I'll leave all of that info in the description box below. All right, Aries, let's take a look. So, feels like things are finally starting to move forward here with the wheel turning in your favor. The end of delays. The end of delays. The end of, um, the end of like some stagnancy here. So, I'm seeing multiple options. Some of you have been, um, Looking at different opportunities here, trying to figure out like what's the right option for you. And keeping a really hopeful mind as well. Things are changing and it does feel like you're finally making a choice towards a internal change as well internal changes with this magician this is you entering major manifester mode major manifester mode ready to take action you have everything that you need here so you have all of the elements working for you at this point and you're past some sort of halfway point okay so five of pentacles is kind of what you're moving out of so you may have been feeling um struggling here struggling to let something go struggling to walk away from a situation one more maybe feeling like scarcity or lack in some way financially with this pentacles over here and you've been very patient with allowing a seed to grow but at the same time, you're realizing like, I think some of you are realizing like there needs to be more or you should be seeing more in a situation by this time. And the wheel is turning in your favor. So things are about to shift in a positive way for you here. Yeah. You're finding a sense of balance once again. Balance in your life, moderation, finding alignment. I'm also seeing financially some of you are finding moderation with like spending, how much you're spending. Tell me more about this temperance. Okay. Finding a, a, a good balance when it comes to risk taking what's worth taking a risk and and what's maybe something that you should reconsider by just being patient by just staying kind of put because I feel like you're at this place where you really want to do something but you're like I know I should just stay put right now and just kind of see where things go um, focusing on I'm, I'm seeing you in a way re-energizing yourself right now Remotivating yourself, finding healing within your heart, or I'm seeing with this three of swords, there's something that's been that's been heavy. Okay, feels like there's been some sort of heaviness here, and right now is a time of of just like nurturing that, doing doing less. It's like working less or working less hours or just doing things in a way that is not overburdening you because I'm saying with this ten of wands there may be too much 
that you've you've started to carry other people's problems, other people's burdens, and now you're being called to delegate things. Where can you delegate, let go of, or give to someone else? Finding that balance between how much you are doing on your own or accepting. Yeah, because I feel, yeah, with this Seven of Pentacles, it feels like you've been cleaning up other people's problems for them. Um, and, and to the point where it's overburdened you and, and you're being left feeling depleted. Mm. Okay. Mm. Wow, Wheel of Fortune though. Change is coming. Change is here. Sometimes you have to be at this place of overwhelm, burnout, stress in order to recognize the signs of it, in order to recognize what needs to be let go of, what you have to walk away from, what needs to change, what needs to change. Because maybe if you never got to this place, you wouldn't have known what had to change so things are the wheel of fortune is always like things happening for a reason things are there's always a lesson here um, you're ready to you're ready to like break free from some patterns that just haven't been serving you with this devil reversed i see you feeling like you there's a need to detach from people places things that have been really consuming a lot of your energy in order to really get serious on this legacy that you're building. Wealth. Fortune. A family. Settling down. Because we got the lovers around you here. So there's someone around you who you're seeing as um, a lover. Or you're wanting to be in a, a committed relationship with. You've gotten close. Or you are currently getting close. You may even have options between lovers. And it's a matter of... It's a matter of... Freeing yourself from shat from the shadows, from karmic cycles, karmic patterns that are keeping you from the outcome that you're desiring here, which is legacy. Okay. High Priestess reversed. There's something someone's unaware of. What is this person unaware of? Wheel of Fortune. Four of Swords. Okay, someone's unaware of changes that are happening here. The changes happening in your life or the changes that you're wanting to create. Changes that you're doing in your own life. Someone's really not, they're, they're not seeing it. They may even be unaware of the fact that you're healing from certain demons that right now, healing from certain burdens and situations. Someone's not seeing that. Okay. If you have someone in mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see how they feel about you, about the situation with you for the rest of the month. The person on your mind, Aries. Four of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Lovers, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Okay. There may be a lot of like telepathic communication with you and this person. You think of them. When you're thinking of them, like you get a message or vice versa. But this person does feel like you're holding back or you're pushing them away in some case. They're seeing you as really just focusing on you right now with that Nine of Pentacles. Being in a place where you're successful, you're established. Maybe not even really seeing the healing that you've gone through or going through right now. Okay. This person does want a relationship with you. With the lovers as their actions. They want to come towards you. They want to be with you. But they feel like things right now are, are kind of stuck. But they, they see you as someone valuable. They 
they want to create healing or they want to get to a better place with this five of cups i'm getting this person is maybe really upset it, you like you've um created space maybe you've asked, asked for space it feels like something is is being like kept at arm's length right now and they're crying over it or just really in the blues if you're in separation with this person um yeah they're upset they're they think about you all the time they're seeing you as being single <laughs> okay they're seeing you as being single right now like you're single ready to mingle or you're single with your options open and they really just want to be with you even if this is someone fairly new in your life like they the idea that you're single or the idea that someone else could have you really upsets them they want a relationship for four wands or they want to celebrate with you okay Aries they want to celebrate that's what they want but they're really unaware they're really unaware of the healing that you're going through or the things that you're that the changes you're that are happening in your life right now you're being called to stay optimistic princess of wands just staying optimistic and focusing on the lighter side of things in what areas can you just focus on just fun? Okay. So it looks like you're getting ready to take a new approach. From this healing is revealing to you a new approach of doing things, new new rules. I'm hearing new rules, new boundaries, new commitments, the breaking of an old commitment. Why the Hierophant reverse? King of Cups. Interesting. Your heart is oh, and we got the Queen of Cups at the bottom. True match, true pair. Your heart is opening up to new ideas or a new way of doing things, new a new way of approaching relationships. Which may for some of you be untraditional to what you are accustomed to. Or the way that you meet this person is very untraditional. We have the high priestess and the higher fent reversed, so Hmm. An interesting combination. Someone's more like intuitive and someone maybe has more, ha follows more a guideline and is getting ready to break free from a certain guideline that they've been taught or grown up with. What else does Aries need to know right now? Tell me about these changes. A new direction that's offering you happiness. Ooh, new beginning, starting a new life. Ten of pentacles. There's so much to be grateful for financial success the promise of retirement a rich and rewarding family life yeah you're about to have it all i'm seeing 10 10 10 but there is definitely um 10 is completion 10 is completion this may mean uh saying no to other offers or other opportunities that may have been distracting you or kind of keeping you you confused or pulled in different directions and going all in on just one thing now. I'm seeing seven, four, one as well. Ten, ten, ten. Five, 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 two, two, two. And sixteen. 
those numbers could be synchronicities or special days coming up. I'm seeing the letters S, E, O, F, A, P. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and your patience. And I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. Bye.